up? How we going today, folks? I uh, figured I'd give you a little update on what I got going on here and uh, show you the bike and its current status. So, done some upgrades since the last video. Obviously, you saw stickers and some other stuff. But, um, so, yesterday I did a seat. Got dirt on it already. Haven't even rode it. Um, so this is a seat concepts comfort seat kit, and basically, um, what it does is replaces the factory cover. This being the factory cover. And it replaces the factory foam. Let me set this up so you can see it a little better. So here's a factory foam. Really not very good. Pretty stiff. Just not much to it. Not very comfortable. So you use the the factory pan, pull the the foam off, just peels off. They just used uh, spray adhesive on it, and then spray adhesive and put the new foam on and stretch the seat cover over, staple it down with the T50 staples. Really wasn't too bad actually, um, and it makes a huge difference. I haven't I haven't rode it yet, but I sat on it. It was really really pretty awesome. Let's see what else did I do. So yesterday I also did this guy. Hopefully you can see it. That is my new Owens rear shock. And that is a humongous upgrade from the factory. Sorry, I'm spinning all over the place here. Here's the factory. So uh, I bought the, I bought a whole kit, uh, front and rear suspension. Uh, I knew that the bike was lacking in the suspension when I bought it, and I was fine with that. There was a lot of other features I liked about it, so <clears throat> I was willing to do the upgrades for this. Um, this is the last major upgrade. Is the uh, the shocks so today I'm going to do the front forks and basically what they do is give you a new heavier duty spring and new um, fork caps and then I'm putting in new oil as well so a better better weight oil new fork springs sorry something in my eye so here's the FSK123 is the kit so you get new caps new rings and a new spring you get to choose between the heavy duty uh, heavier weight spring over 80 kilos rider weight and up to 80 kilos rider weight for the lighter weight so um, I'm just under 80 kilos which 80 kilos is 176 pounds I think uh, roughly and uh, I think I'm about 165 so I'm just under it I know that if I put gear and stuff on the bike I may want to have the heavier spring, so I'm going to ride this with the light springs first. I have the lighter one in the back shock that also comes with a secondary spring, so you can swap it out. Um, so if I feel like it's too light with the, my gear on it for extended travel, then I'll upgrade them to the heavier weight. The nice thing is I can carry them around with me anywhere and do the swap out pretty pretty easily. Don't have to change the oil when I do the spring, 
just have to drop one fork and pull the cap and retainer clip and pull the spring out and change it. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'll uh, get back to you after that and let you know how it goes. But these are coming off and break the bike down and see, uh, see how it goes. It shouldn't be too terrible, hopefully, from what I've seen on videos. I bought this new lift yesterday, which is huge. That thing works really well. Got that from Tractor Supply, triple lift. So, should only be, I don't know, a couple beers. Should have it done. Later.